Easter. Today is Easter. It's 9.05. I woke up. You guys saw I cleaned my room up a little bit. Just like picked up stuff up off of the floor. I went outside and I had some peace full time and read like 10 different passages or so from the Bible. I'm very grounded after doing that. I'm wanting today to be a peaceful day, but we are going on a run. Not super peaceful for me, but I can make it peaceful. We're going on a run. I have my running outfit sitting behind me. I, what was I saying? Oh, I think the last like long distance run was I ran seven miles right before I went to Orlando. I had had a flight on Sunday and Sundays are like my long run day. So I wasn't able to do a long run. So it did put me behind in my marathon, half marathon training, not marathon, Ooh, no. I just basically kind of moved stuff around. I kind of started over. I think I'm gonna try to run seven miles today and then like start from there because I feel like that was the last place that I actually like did a full training all week. I moved my training back and so now I think it goes until like the end of April and I want to make my own little half marathon. I want to find a trail where I can run the 13.1 miles and I want to make like little stops and stuff and make my own half marathon. The only half marathon that I had found that was like in this time span where I live was May 4th and that is Isaac's birthday is literally May 5th so I just didn't want to like run a half marathon the day before his birthday so I'm just gonna make my own half marathon. I keep on telling myself today I'm like uh it's fine it's Easter Sunday like don't do it and then I'm like you know what do it. So I'm sipping on an Alani, kind of having a little bit of time before I do it. Later, after the run, getting ready, probably honestly after I eat, I'm going to probably first and foremost finish or start and finish Emily Wilde Encyclopedia. Like that's the biggest thing today is that I'll probably just, you know, like sit around around family and read and just have my little ambiance going. Probably later on tonight, we can do reading journal. We can do like planning out, especially next week because I feel like I have, I'm trying to pack a lot of things into next week. I'm going to continue to sip on this, maybe take a few ibuprofen because I'm having a bad headache. Hi guys, I just took a shower. I'm not piping with my hair right now because it's been in a hat, it's been in a bun, it's been in a braid, been through it. Got done with my run. I ended up doing six and a half miles. My feet, like even right now they're throbbing. They started hurting so bad. For right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on finishing Emily Wilde Encyclopedia. I actually listened to the audiobook while I ran. I don't need like super motivating stuff in my ear while I do like runs. I think I came to the conclusion that I honestly kind of don't like music while I run because I find myself skipping most of it and reaching for my phone, looking at my watch, like skipping it. So I was like, maybe podcasts and audiobooks are the way to go for my runs because I don't really need motivating music in my ear. I can just motivate myself to keep on going. I need something that my attention can be on other than like, oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, my body hurts. Oh, this, oh, that. So I listened to that. So I'm going to probably go downstairs, continue reading that. that. That's what's going on right now. I kind of look a little crazy, but that's okay. Okay. Hello guys, happy Monday, or maybe not, depending on how you look at Mondays. This week, you know, we're still sticking to like the usual, but I kind of wanted to show you guys kind of what goes on behind the scenes. So right now it is like almost one o'clock. I actually just finished like a little bit ago filming my March wrap up. So that is done. Something that I didn't get to yesterday was to planning out land for the week. So I want to do that. Today is April 1st. So we're gonna start there. I already did some of the like overall content planning for the month and all of that stuff that goes into like a reset for the month. We have this weekly spread right here. So what I want to do is kind of pencil in when I want to do stuff and kind of try to structure my week because I feel like this month especially, there's just a lot going on. I wanna make sure kind of we're sticking to a schedule. But basically I know what's on the to-do list for today. I wanna film the March wrap up and I wanna film my April TBR later. And I think I'm going to try to edit the March 
wrap up tonight to get up tomorrow and then I'll probably end up editing the April TBR tomorrow to send over because that one has a uh, brand deal tattoo and I also need to look at what brand deals need to be filmed this week and need to be sent over this week to have them up in plenty of time to then match with my scheduled content that I scheduled out for the month. At the beginning of the month when I tell you guys that I'm scheduling out content, I schedule out when to film videos, usually a dream. Most of the time those timelines don't work out. You know I do kind of make them to where they have a little bit of wiggle room in between them or, um, but when I plan out content I also know what videos have brand deals attached to them because at the beginning of the month I look at what brand deals are due that month and kind of the date in which they want to be posted by. I look at that and I decide when I'm going to film, when I'm going to send it over, when I'm going to post. I need to kind of take some time right now and look over all of the brand deals that I have this month and then look over the schedule and the videos and make sure that's all good and make sure I'm on schedule to post those and then what the week is going to look like for me to meet those deadlines that I have made myself. So we're going to just take some time to kind of plan that out because I feel like it needs to be very structured for me to be able to get through it all. So I'm going to do that make to-do lists, make sure everything's good. I also need to film like the final part for my April reset video, but that's going to be up on Sunday. And so now we're here. We filmed, I still need to film later, but I'm honestly, that TBR is already out. And I'm making my own TBR and I kind of just want it to be laid back. So it'll probably honestly be later on tonight since it's just more laid back. I think honestly what I'm about to do is plan out all of this. And after that, I'll probably start editing my March wrap up. I'll probably do all of the rough cutting for that. And when I say rough cutting, it's essentially me watching through the video and then cutting out all the parts and you know, like cutting the stuff in between. Then you have the rough cut and then you go in and do intricate editing. So I'll probably do the rough cut and then I'll film my April TBR, take care of all of that. And then I'll probably try to finish the intricate editing tonight. And then it depends on like when all of this stuff gets done. But honestly, I'll probably have to wait until tomorrow to film the ending clips to the reset video because the last few things is like taking you through my oh I did not mean to flip you off taking you guys through like my notion and setting that up like doing a reading journal spread I haven't got to do my reading journal yet also I told you guys I think this vlog is already up I think it ha did it happen to me in the reset when I had to go renew my my license I found out that I have terrible eyesight and literally me like when I look over into the little like viewfinder in the side I have now just like since that has happened i have just realized how bad my eyesight truly is because like even trying to look into this i can't see anything little piece of information but yeah i'm about to plan out everything lighting is not the best it is like 10 30 and i am getting ready for bed oh i can feel that there's a rash on my face right here in this area that's awesome but i can say that i did finish every item on the to-do list for today filmed my wrap-up i filmed the april tbr i completely edited the full, whole entire wrap-up and i got that posted and actually i got a little bit ahead of myself today i did all of the rough cutting for the april tbr so tomorrow when i do go to edit that it can just be more of the like fun editing i'm getting ready for bed it is supposed to have severe thunderstorm tonight so really who knows how good I shall sleep because if you guys know I am terrified of thunderstorms. There is like a tornado warning. I am quite honestly terrified. I'm gonna go ahead and head on to bed. Hello guys. Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. I feel like I've already lived this whole entire week so feels a little... I really like that I went ahead and just kind of tried to span out the whole week because I feel like every day I know that I'm supposed to be on a certain track. This morning I woke up, I went to the gym. This week I was going to film a video and it had like a theme to it. I was supposed to wake up early for the video. It was kind of correlating with me trying to wake up early again like at 5 a.m. ish. My treadmill time and reading. Morning I was going to start it because I didn't do it yesterday and I was going to start the video. Last night it was storming so bad all night so I got no sleep because 
I'm afraid of thunderstorms and Charlie. No, you guys can't see her, but I'm also scared of thunderstorms. So we were both just up all night, like could not sleep. And I also this morning was trying to wait out the thunderstorm because I didn't want to drive in the midst of pouring down rain, thunder, and lightning. That stopped at almost like around seven. So I got up, went to the gym, came home. I just made breakfast. I have pineapple, eggs, and toast. Anyway, yesterday I completed my to-do list. I did everything I needed to do. Today is definitely, I think, the busiest day of the week that I have. Today, what is on the agenda? I need to film pod, edit pod, edit April TBR, send pod over, send TBR over, take book of the month pictures. I need to send those over with the book of the month video. I need to post wrap up and I was going to film for that reading vlog that I was wanting to do, but we didn't do that. Today's honestly the busiest day because all of that stuff needs to be done. Hopefully, maybe tonight I can take a shower and then kind of have some like decompressed time and I can do like my reading journal, notion and all of that. I'm also breaking out like in a little like rash breakout. I don't know if you guys know, like it's little, like a little rash. Like it's just like a bunch of little like pimples or spots all throughout my face. And I feel like it's in reaction to something that I put on my face, but I haven't really changed anything. Like I use the same makeup. I don't know if any of it is expired. I literally don't know. I, and that is what scares me because I want to throw out all of the makeup and get new because it's especially like in my forehead area. I'm, I'm kind of scared. I'm going to have a little bit of YouTube time. Sophie just uploaded a new vlog. I watched Georgia's Yesterday, I watched Rachel's wrap up today while I was on the treadmill and now I'm watching Sophie's vlog. I love when the girlies post on YouTube. After this, I'm gonna be all caught up and then I'm gonna be sad and wait for them all to upload again. Just a little bit of YouTube. I think I'm going to try to then finish editing the April TBR because I did all of the rough cutting for that the pod and then I need to edit the pod get that sent over and then hopefully after that I can like do some decompressive time. <laughs> Hello guys, I just got done filming the podcast. I'm cleaning up after that. Usually it takes a while for everything to get uploaded into the drive. I'm debating on whether or not I wanna take a shower right now or if I wanna take a shower later. I don't wanna like get into doing the reading journal and like getting all of that out because I know I'm gonna be waiting a little bit. Maybe I'll just shower and have a little bit of like me time after the shower. That may be what I do. Let's look at the to-do list. I I filmed the podcast, I edited the April TBR, I sent over TBR, I did my content for book of the month, it's a reel, I did that, I sent that over, I did not film morning reading vlog because that's not a thing anymore, but I also did post my wrap up. Only things I have left to do today are to send pod and edit pod and then I would just like to do my reading journal and stuff that way tomorrow on the agenda is to edit the reset. That's what's going on. I think I'm going to take a shower and then just kind of have some like time. Do you guys want to make the lighting a little bit better? Just for you guys. 8.40 right now. Just ate one of my little enlightened ice cream bars. A little update for you guys. To-do list. Boom. Boom. Another completed to-do list on the books today. Super proud of this. Now is kind of my unwind time. I'm going to film the like notion and book journal clip for my reset vlog. That way I can start editing that tomorrow. So while I was gone, I took a shower and I went to get my glasses. If you guys watched the reset vlog from last week, these are the glasses that I got. These are one of them. Like these frames, these ones are for, I feel like more like around here. My more casual one. And then I got these and these ones I feel like are a little bit more, I don't know, these ones aren't as casual. Also not super used to seeing myself in these. I did want to show you guys though, I did order some stuff. I find a lot of the times like when I'm in my car, there are some like of my essentials, like these are not things that you need for your car. But I follow Emily Keisler on TikTok and she has one of these where it's like a little bag and she keeps like some stuff in her car. Just like, I feel like it's like just being just a girl, little kit, like a girly kit that you want to keep like in your center console. So I ordered some stuff. So I went to put that together it's a little messy but here is the little stuff so i got this little organizer so this is what we're going to put in here these are like my girly essentials of like sometimes when i'm in the car i wish i had this like i wish i had this on the person i really need it so first and foremost i got a bunch of these like hair ties the little like, ones that are supposed to not leave a mark in your hair i use these like for the gym etc i thought that this was just like one but it actually came in a pack of a bunch of mini brushes but you know what it's fine because i'm gonna put one in this and one in my gym bag 
and then I'll probably toss one in my purse and then give some to my niece. Also, I bought these Lumi mini deodorants because I use Lumi deodorants in this one. These are just like really quick when I need them. They're in the little tubes. Also, these little Colgate wisps. These are like little toothbrushes that you like go and brush your teeth really quick. I also got these like dossier perfumes because I always want a perfume. And the thing about these dossier perfumes is that they are a great alternative for if you guys are wanting a like designer perfume. So I got Ambery Vanilla and I think this one is supposed to be a dupe for YSL Black Opium, which is one of my favorite perfumes literally ever. I got this one which is floral marshmallow which is supposed to be by killian love don't be shy i got some of these touch land um hand sanitizers if i go anywhere the first thing i do is get in the car and do my little hand sanitizer room instead of just like throwing a bunch of stuff in your middle console i'm just like putting all of this in one space I also did get this pink like photo album scrapbook because I see Rachel and Sophie and George and all of them do their cute little scrapbooks and I personally am not artistic enough for that. So I got one of these like photo album scrapbooks that you can put like little four by six photo prints in and we all know that I do film photos, I do digital camera, I do like a bunch of different photos. I got that one and then I also ordered one for my big Polaroids because I already have one for my little Polaroids. I shall see you guys tomorrow. I'm back from the gym about to take a shower it is so cold it is cold it is cold in this room it is cold outside i'm about to take a quick shower i'm gonna take you guys through my skincare routine before i sit down and try to get everything posted and edited right now i've been dealing with some breakouts that are really really heavily upsetting me y'all it's just it's a whole entire thing my shower was so hot there's literal steam in i think the camera's fogging I wanted to show you guys some of my skincare that I'm trying to do. Obviously, I'm not going to say that this stuff works because I just bought it yesterday. But when I looked it up, so getting real with you guys, I am having like these little mini, like they're, it almost looks like a rash and it's like little mini breakouts all over my face. Like I literally thought, am I having an allergic reaction? It's been like, I think I noticed it on like Sunday and today's really Thursday. So they kind of stuck around and I looked it up and it said there's like excess oil in your face and there's like certain things. So I looked up what to do for that to help. The thing that came up was this La Roche-Posay Effaclair medicated gel cleanser and it's because it has salicylic acid. They said find a cleanser that has either salicylic acid salicylic acid. Oh, this is what I've been using it with. It says to wash your face two times a day. I want to give it like three months and then if by like the summertime, like July, it's not like any better and then I'm not seeing any difference, I'll probably end up going to the dermatologist and get like medicated stuff because it's just something that gets progressively worse. Like I've just noticed more breakouts around here, more breakouts in my forehead, and it's just something I want to get a handle on. Something that kind of makes me would probably make me feel a little bit better i just washed my face so i also got these three products and basically this one right here the effaclair okay there we go this one right here i got this one is a once a day treatment so i feel like this is kind of this it's the same thing as the faded topicals cream that i had used and, but this one is like a once a day kind of try to use at the same time of day so right now i'm just doing this once a day i actually used to have this and then i accidentally threw it away <laughs> i never bought it again but this also came up as a part of a little uh skincare thing especially with buying that face wash so i just kind of like let that air dry on my face and then i bought this so this is the total rain double repair face moisturizer and this has ceramide and niacinamide let's sit <laughs> hey guys i just start talking from this angle i had a meeting with veronica yesterday i have some meeting notes and stuff that i want to go over touch base on make sure i'm all set up these glasses honestly kind of still crack me up really not used to them now what i need to do work wise before i get out the door today is i need to post the podcast post my tbr edit the reset and send the reset over i just need to post the reel for book of the month that is already done i just need to post that i'm about to grab the timestamp really quick for the pod and then get that all settled to be uploaded and then after that i'm probably going to pick up my room a little bit because i am going to be leaving for the weekend i come back on sunday i am literally like that's when we're starting the spring cleaning like we are starting strong on sunday but for right now i'm going to focus on posting the podcast and all of that stuff
couldn't tell me and Isaac bought a cabin. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But Isaac booked this cabin last night for us to stay. He's random like that. This morning I was like cleaning everything up and putting everything away. I started hearing this scratching at the door and it was still dark outside. And I opened the door and a squirrel was just at the door. Like it was like knocking on the door. Last night we went in the hot tub. We did had a fire um, that lasted five seconds. It's enough time for us to burn a marshmallow. We're about to leave. We had a nice little getaway. It's in Nashville, Indiana this past fall. Me and Isaac went there because we went to the town like in Nashville to go to breakfast with his parents and we drove through the town again yesterday. And it's the town that I've said in a vlog or two that it's when I first started watching Gilmore Girls and it is literally Stars Hollow. Like you walk through and it literally reminds you of Stars Hollow. Went to like the small town grocery store and got stuff and we made breakfast for dinner. That's Isaac's favorite thing to eat is breakfast for dinner. That's what we did and now we're about to leave. When I get home on Sunday, that's gonna start my week straight of spring cleaning. I'm just spending the next full week deep cleaning my entire house. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, we gotta go.